There's no going back. Have a great first day of school, guys. We're gonna miss you so much. On all sides, from the point of Saginaw and Moscow streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Well, hey, everybody, it's Thursday, August 22nd, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. Welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. That sound you hear in the background is the weeping and gnashing of teeth on the part of the students of the Duran Area Public Schools. <laughs> It's the first day of school here in Durand, Michigan, as well as other communities around our area. And so we're wishing all the students a great first day. And all that shouting and rejoicing you hear might just be their parents. Hey, I'm Pastor Steve Woods, your host. Welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. You know my pal Bugsy. He's hanging out over there with me in his usual spot, taking care of all the important things that he has to take care of. And I hope your Thursday is going well. Once again, today we turn back to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought from his book, Good Morning Lord, Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum, and today's Devotion is entitled, Bring Back the Joy. Religious stuff can bring a few laughs to the surface, I freely admit. I find some church architecture funny. Correction, I find a lot of it funny. The same could be said for the business side of things. I occasionally must bite my lip when I'm in an ultra-somber meeting where a silent smile could make scandalous waves and begin to look at the faces in the room. Some of them and some of the remarks being made are borderline hilarious. It's not that I make light of these things, and I mean no disrespect. I simply find humor in them. Such humor is not making jokes out of life. It's recognizing the ones that are already there. Frankly, I find some funny material even in Scripture. Many of the scenes are a crack up. Some comments are too. Not all, you understand, and not even most, but some. And that is exactly as God planned it. He would never author a book that is colorless, somber, and boring. He is the one, you'll recall, who led Solomon to write these words in Proverbs 17:22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. To which I shout a hearty amen. That same wise man also penned these words, A glad heart makes a happy face, a broken heart crushes the spirit. For the despondent every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Proverbs 15, 13 through 15. I like those last two words. My plea is not that everybody starts reading the comics or watches all those mindless sitcoms. That's external, superficial, and silly. I'm suggesting a project far more significant. Developing a lighter heart that comes from confidence in the living God, the loving Creator, the Sovereign Lord, who gave us humor and smiles every time we enjoy the gift. Abraham Lincoln is said to have quipped, Every man over 40 is responsible for his face. <laughs> so relax, smile, let out a roar of laughter, and your frown will soon disappear. Father, we thank you for the joy that you put in our hearts. 
And Lord, there are times where we could stand to laugh. We are a a funny people, Father. And while we don't want to laugh at each other or mock one another or be disrespectful, help us to see the humor in the day. Help us to lighten up, Father, and to walk in you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. Thanks for stopping by. If you don't mind, give that like button a poke so we know you were here. And while you're at it, click the share button and send out this episode of Cafe Devo to your friends and family. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.